Hey everybody, welcome back. Leo Pozzo, you know what it is. That's the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in, guys. This video is for all the new subscribers. Thanks very much for subscribing, guys. I appreciate it. Just want to give you guys a quick update here on the 35-gallon saltwater coral reef tank, which is tied into my 125-gallon saltwater coral reef tank underneath the same sump filtration system of the 75-gallon sump which is all underneath the same water volume same water chemistry whatever water is in my 125 is the exact same water that's in this 35 gallon so everything that you're looking right here in this 35 gallon is all is all uh, new livestock uh, new corals new anemones new fish just been in here in the last couple of days so i'm just been monitoring them closely and everyone's actually really happy and uh just want to give you guys a quick update here today guys so come along with me while I show you a little bit closer at each individual item in uh, fish and coral here in the tank that we have so far. Starting on the right hand side we have this rose bubble tip anemone which is doing uh, quite nicely. It looks like it's nice uh, and extended, quite happy. It's moving around, getting some water movement. Um, I've noticed at night time that it does shrivel up a little bit and um, it gets pretty small that you can't even really see it. Uh, it's basically just uh, buried inside the whole crevice there of that live rock and then sometimes I notice that nighttime as well that it is uh, fully extended the way it is right now with all its polyps out and looking quite uh, nice and happy. Uh, we do have the uh, the circulation pump here. It's not a wave maker which I'm used to saying wave maker. This is just a regular uh, power head and uh, again this is not my main focus tank this is just a secondary tank just starting up but yes ideally i would want to put a wave maker in here this guy's just uh just stirring up some flow here at the bottom of the tank and originally i did have it off but i turned it back on now as it, as it seems like all the anemones are pretty much fixed in their location so starting here on this next piece of live rock we're going to see uh we got one bubble tip anemone here as well doesn't look as vibrant as the other one that we just looked at on the right hand side. Uh, Nemo's doing a little dance here up and down for us, top notch. To the side of the anemone, we uh, actually the anemone moved itself onto this piece of uh, Montipora frag here that I'm trying to recuperate uh, from my uh, 125 gallon. I just put it in here and see how it does to see how the lighting's doing for it and flow and just uh, in general because I know the water parameters are the same. Here's another piece of Montipora. It's not the nicest color. I'm just trying to recuperate it as well from a local uh, friend of mine. I believe it's just like a, a gray, brown, maybe silvery kind of color. It looks like it's kind of super dying off right now. I'm just looking at it as a piece of live rock right now, but hopefully it comes back to life for me. Uh, working our way to the left hand side here, we've got this huge anemone along with the few other fish that we have in here. We've got a copper band butterfly, we've got a blonde nasal tang and two clownfish, Ocellaris clownfish. Everyone looks pretty happy. I don't see anyone really stressed out. Um, I notice that when I come around the tank, they get a little bit shy or scared or nervous and they kind of swim to the other side or whatever, but they're looking pretty happy. Um, the anemones are definitely getting closer to the, uh, the anemone. The clownfish are actually getting much closer to this anemone here. This is a neon green, long tentacle anemone. It actually does have some uh, nice blues in it and whatnot. If this thing is a monster, it's at least a good 10 to 8 to 10 inches, give or take, roughly. The blonde nasal tank's doing much better. Ideally, I'm going to probably throw him in my 125-gallon tank once he gets used to the water and he's kind of happy and whatnot to my system. Um, you can see here that we got another anemone here. It's another bubble tip anemone. It's not a rose. It's more of a nice uh, bright yellow and neon green kind of color along with white and uh, it's actually looking quite nice as well. It's not in the original place that I uh, placed it when I uh, first placed him inside the tank but he's doing alright moving around. It's not really disturbing anybody and uh, he's kind of far away from the power head so he's not going to get chewed up or go inside the drain. But here's a closer look at this anemone guys. This thing is just a monster. It's looking fantastic. Uh, for the most part I think it's actually mounted its foot here uh, onto the piece of live rock a little bit there on that corner and maybe a little bit on the bottom glass. I'm trying to aim for it to get mounted on that live rock so maybe I can at least pick up the piece of live rock with the anemone and move it anywhere else in the tank or position it the way I want. But yeah you really got to see the color on this thing. It's just, 
friggin' uh, it's amazing, man. You should see it. It looks super healthy. I'm really happy about that, guys. The anemones, everyone's looking pretty top notch. I threw in a couple of snails in here from my 125. There's one kicking there, and probably a few others around. Here's a small piece of Kenya tree, little frag that was just kicking around on my 125. I just tossed it in. But guys, that's what's up. Leo Potzel, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. We've got some full spectrum LEDs here. These are PAR 38s, the screwing type bulbs. I just made this little ghetto fixture. It works for me. I know that they grow coral and they make the uh, coral color pop as well. So I'm convinced that they work and I'm not worried about coral growth as I had them previously on my 125. So guys, Leo Potts, you know what it is. Thanks very much for tuning in. Quick update on the 35 gallon. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks very much for all the new subscribers. You guys know who you are. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Share it on your social media, Facebook groups and whatnot, guys. And Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. You guys can find me there on Instagram as well. And um, I post stuff there. You got me at uh, two different accounts. The Real Leo Potzel. That's uh, The Real Leo Potzel. And you also got me at Hot T. Radio on Instagram. Again, that's Hot T. Radio. I'm sure you'll be able to find me. And uh, that's pretty much what it is. Leo Potts, thanks guys. I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. Enjoy.